really do not know why married men are after young ladies because they decide to get married and have a family so why are you going after young ladies the way ladies dress nowadays attract married men to them the bible say if your eye is causing you to see throw it out but the fact that the girls can put out of the dress provocatively doesn't mean you should go into them it's normal the biological entrenchment of man to ask anyone as adventure for the fun of it so why going into marriage then uh, man is polygamous in nature men are not polygamous not you chose to do it if you look at it a woman cannot satisfy a man sexual urge come to think of the fact that there will be a time whereby the woman is pregnant and the rest there is grace to sustain you for self-control it depends on your own perspective drink water from your own system you have a wife that is your wife one man one wife he created a male and female no, this is scripture single ladies out. If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. I can attest to that because it has happened to me, obviously, like not once, not twice. So I think this man has, like, has three children and his wife and I feel like he's happily married and, and he's still going out to like ask like me, young girl like me. Out so yes, I can test you. I can I agree that married men are single girls out because yes, I'm a witness. Okay, yes, I can attest to that. I agree that married men ask single ladies out because um I can testify of that. And the reason behind that is what I cannot tell because these people are married and they have kids at home. So I don't really know why they do that. Like I don't know why they do that. I really do not know why married men are after young ladies because they decide to get married and um, have a family. So why are you going after young ladies? Reasons are not well known. Imagine a man walking up to you. He will even tell you boldly that ah, I'm married. I have a wife. But please, what are you still looking for outside? So why do you go into marriage at first? Married man asks him to get out. It's a common thing that has been in existence in time immemorial. So it's not a new thing in this world that a married man asks single girls out. One of the reasons, maybe you guys may not really know, is just for the fantasy of how I've dated. Even when the person in question has not yet married, they have had several, uh, several girlfriends. I can be married, I cannot stop that because it's normal the biological entrenchment of man to ask anyone as parental for the fun of it. So, so why going into marriage then? A uh, man is polygamous in nature. <laughs> no, so that's not true. It's not all men. Men are polygamous in that nature. That is not true. Who, it is. who started? Who started that? This who said it that men are polygamous yeah, in nature? Yeah, polygamous in nature. Who said it's it's not all men. I can, can, can actually it. use my dad as an example. My dad is a chartered accountant. <laughs> he works with ladies, but he you can never see him with a lady. Oh, uh, you not see that. I am very sure. Say, no, no, no. Like I am very sure. Whatever your dad showed is what I'm going to hear. It's not whatever my dad told me because oh. i have seen the kind of friends he keeps like okay. they come home okay. like we interact <laughs> sorry okay. can you prove it why do you say you're polygamous in nature what we makes you think that in it. why okay, for now, okay where i worked there's a lady there that just looked at me and said that i did not look like a married man so and you, feel, then you no, feel. wait for me going to her and ask her out do you think that she's going to she's, 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 she's going to deny me she will accept me. A particular one that among them that when I was talking to her, she said no. I did not believe that I'm married. And I even told her, I said, I'm married. And she said, no, you did not. So if I should go ahead now, you now say that, oh, no, no. But no. That, that's not the problem. What is the problem? Now, here? you said men are polygamous in nature. Yes. What, can you prove it? What makes you think you're polygamous in nature? Polygamous is it because you okay. feel you can marry more than one wife or yes, you feel that's that a, you, are, you, are, you, know, you, you can do it and no one will question you? Yes, no, no, no. It's a popular saying now that we are immense world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It can just be a popular saying, but that's not the truth. It doesn't oh. make it the truth. Like See, everyone man, is, man, everyone man, is man, doing man, something. Man, it doesn't make it. Whatever I do, it's possible that when they question me for it, especially when we are talking about marriage, yeah. I may not be liable to answer it. That, oh, forget it. Whatever I do does not concern you. It's either you stay or you go to your father's house. A man that truly really loves his wife oh, will not go no, after no, another. No, a man that really loves her point. A man that truly loves his wife cannot go after a young lady. 
Hey, that's not true. That's, See, that's marriage not is for better for worse. Yeah, okay, so let's not argue. 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 Let's
decently, decent men will approach you. But if you dress indecently, you see the other group of men approaching you. So ladies should dress properly so that they can attract decent men who is going to plan their life with them. Not dressing like an harlot on the street that we make a random men what to ask them for sexual advances. So the ladies nowadays are always uh, wanting to entice men by their way of dressing. Because no one can see what we affect is emotion without making any reaction towards it. There are the ways that you see a lady's dress there, whereby you see them, you know that, oh, no, when you go to her, she will definitely accept you. Yes. And they say, we will let you that some people do put on. Maybe they say that if you put it in the left leg, maybe you are a little show or whatever. So the way ladies dress nowadays attracts married men to them. So I strongly agree with you because uh, you do go out every day. And sometimes I will just imagine that a lady coming out in this kind of dressing, or does she not have uh, people surrounding that? Uh, what you are putting on is wrong. It's wrong or yeah. where are you going that you are dressed like this? You see a lady going out at night putting on some uh, clothes that expose most of the part of her body. And as a man that is already in the mood for sex, Looking at that lady once, we will be tempted to approach and say, hey, find her, where are you going? And from there, you interact and exchange uh, numbers. And from there, you begin to, uh, to meet with her because she has put herself on the advert that, oh, I need a man to, uh, to call me. Would you disagree us? Please step forward. So I feel as a caring man, whenever you see those kind of things, just get them. For your woman, at least, she will be the one to help you than you going to get disease from someone I'm bringing to you, woman that doesn't even know the hands from the legs. At the end of the day, she'll start treating herself and you can actually blame her like, you are the one that is doing this. But you as a man, you are the one doing it. So if you are talking about the dressings, I don't really think it's the um, dressings. I do not really agree it's the dressings because... There are much girls dressing anyhow they feel like, but they are still sensible men. You look past. Like even the Bible says, if your eye is causing you to sin, plug it out. Okay. <laughs> I use your stick to be walking. <laughs> For me, I don't think how a lady dress should um, be the reason a man should meet her because there are so many ladies that do not dress so provocatively and they still have men going after them so yes, that okay. says that it's not them dressing provocatively that bring men to them so a lady can be so beautiful without having to show her body and people pick interest in her so i disagree with the fact that how the dress is what draw men to them and even the allen avenue you say i'm sure there are several ladies that dress skimpy and for weeks or for days the see men pass them and go to the next lady so it's not necessarily how they dress that is really attracting um all these people to them though some like you say might be attracted to how skimpy someone dresses but that shouldn't be or that is not the reason people actually meet them up and talk to them are you telling me now that all the ladies out there they are all what they are all <laughs> no don't no. get me wrong i, I am only just that. trying to say mm. you don't know what that lady in question is carrying uh, like a lady having infection will not tell you she's having infection uh, a lady having hiv will not tell you she's having hiv everybody it? dress well go out but it's when you if you're not able to control yourself then you just fall in that is your self-control <laughs> okay let me say you are hungry and then you want to eat a four year with them and then <laughs> bread and tea on the table hey Josa, would you eat it you don't want, you to, don't eat. want to eat it though that's not what you want is that is this thing and then maybe she's even cooking this in the kitchen and then there's bread and she said okay you bread and tea the whole body i will eat it now of course okay, now that's food. now this person for the fact that the wear skin people to the dress provocatively doesn't mean you should go into them. That is your self-control coming. Because if you want to do that, that means you on daily basis you'll be picking up self every day. You pick up different girls. So that is where you should be able to, you know, hold yourself because you will keep seeing it every day. You have a wife at home. So that shouldn't be a basis or um, a yardstick to say to measure that uh, I must go to them because they dress provocative. So it should not at all. If it tempts you, remove your eyes. Because one of the you know, way that a lady uh, used to invite men 
to herself is addressed apart I'm from her mother. What is that? that? Do is that? Is that? Is that? On their body. Is it married when I'm still? Important. Why is it that when the girl is growing up or is of age to marry? I don't know, maybe she's not dressing properly. Why is that people around will say, ah, better be dressing very well so that you can say a good man to marry you. If, <laughs> if, <laughs> if that is not an invitation, dressing as in court, it's not an invitation for men. Sir, I'm putting the questions to you. That is the mentality. That it's not a mentality, it's fun. Because how can, I, can you tell me that the, my, the, the reason why I should dress properly is just for a man to, to marry me? What's, what's because the, the way you... I shouldn't dress properly because of job. Your dressing too is as a result of your growth. So meaning that my dressing is just to look at a man to marry me. So it's, it's a mentality that we've, we've gotten over time, decade ago. So we should learn to outgrow it. Yes, we should outgrow it. Because I'm not dressing for a man. No, you dress to impress people. People. Yes, exactly. You said, you said I'm men. I'm part of it. Okay. Like, you can see me are you know, approaching a girl that is not well dressed. Okay. Number one. So, if a lady dress idiotically, are you getting now? Man are prone to approach based on their own preference for such kind of girls. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, that's why we are saying that ladies dress to invite men, to make men to approach them. And that's a lie. We don't dress to him. That is just it. There's more seventy percent of ladies dress to entice me. And so must be entice. Ah, okay. If, 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 if my wife doesn't wait, if my son, if thou decides to do a consent, my wife. If my wife did not dress to my taste, do you think I would have approached then her? Then make her live up to your standard. So that is just that. So you have to come, have to come into that particular uh, level that ladies dress to uh, make man approach them. Married men are not always satisfied. With their wives at home. If you agree with these prompts, please step forward. Okay, true. Married men may not always be satisfied with their wives at home on several grounds. It could be financially, um, it could be sexually and otherwise. But let me hear sexually for example. You might do you always say um before you get married you should um know the ma woman you marry so you you match a libido but there are several things that happen during the course of marriage like childbirth pregnancy and the rest that may make that not possible so in as much as you might not be satisfied or you might not be getting what you feel that you might need sexually truth is couples of marriage are not always satisfied with the other half because there may be several expectations they might have about their wives or husbands that may not be met this might be sexually financially and otherwise but this is to clear that in as much as their spouse might fall short of the expectations um, it doesn't mean with communication and talk something can be done about it so truly people or spouse will fall short of what their better half would want in them but i think with uh, more communication and how to make things better this can be sorted out sometimes you would want to um go with your wife and she's like oh man i can't do this i just give birth or i'm still healing or stuff like that that shows that you're not satisfied with what is happening but that's doesn't always mean that you might have to look out, but it's just an indication that yes, you might not be satisfied with her in that direction. Also, financially, you might okay, though the man is ought to provide for the family, but you feel that, oh my God, that since your wife is not doing much to help you because you're just spending and spending and spending, you don't have any breather and would want her to do better in terms of support so in that way she might not be satisfying you so like you said in instances like this that you feel that your wife is falling short of your expectation is i feel almost every fair of life you always have shortfalls so it's okay and it's not something that's out of the ordinary for your wife or your for your spouse not to meet up so it's just how you um how you handle that matter so surely a, a husband may have his wife satisfying in several instances and such we have to know how to work with it yes thank you we are not always satisfied 
with ah yes let me just you see you guys you are just beating around the bush you don't have to beat around the bush you have to call the spade a spade stop calling spade a shove to buy your shove call it shove so what is actually happening is that most of our wives they always believe that oh i'm married to you when we are doing during courtship you see some people their sexual life is what is 100 percent but just because they have given birth to one or two only missionary <laughs> Would you disagree us? Please step forward. I really disagree totally. Because you know this woman before you decide to get married to her. You know what she can do. And you know what she cannot do. So at least talk her out. Don't forget that we did not start that way. You did not start that yes. way. Then talk her out. Know uh, the reasons why. She what? She decided to be doing that. Okay. The truth is, <laughs> most times we think that we can predict the future. But let me give, for example, childbirth. I want to say about sex or missionary and the rest. So she might feel, if she might have given birth through um, cesarean operation, she might feel, okay, I need to heal. So there are some kind of strenuous styles I cannot be giving you now. I'm like, my well, God, just some months before you got pregnant, even the team will give you belay, we they turn ourselves upside down. But right now, you have to just piece my leg with another two rows of like this. Was, so all those things that we, she never thought that she might be in that position where she cannot satisfy. Oh, she could do that normally. She felt she could do that, but because of circumstances and all, she can't do it. So that is why, in the real sense, the husband was like, oh God. So he means it like they just want you in, one picking in, and I don't know if they do it, I they do before. So sometimes there's a shortfall of what we expect and what is actually given. Then patience matters. For how long? Right. You mm. have to be very, very patient. You never can tell. Being patient. Try to talk to her, like make her understand the reason why you need this. I think when you talk out this issue with that, like try on, you can just invite her out, like then you put your stock over it. You never can tell. You might just decide to change your mind. I love what you say that you never can tell. You're talking based on a purely um, perfect scenario. Yes, you are You're so hypothesizing because you. truth is, there are several things that until you. Uh, in it, you may not really understand what it's all about. But sometimes talking alone will not get what you really want out of what you need. See, when mm -hmm. we are talking about, okay, you said maybe structure of home, right? Yeah. You can do it yourself. But when I do it and before I come back, it has mm -hmm. already miscut. You can do it yourself. Okay. This... If you do it the first time, mm -hmm. you do it the second time. Mm -hmm. Then the first time you don't give it, you don't give her a chance to repeat it. Okay, what will I do? Then you tell her. Okay. <laughs> I've told her she refused to yield to the corrections of this. They you don't, don't have. You don't know how other men well, can be sometimes. This, um, women, women, eh? Mm. They can be very stubborn most times. I know. But there are times they will reason. Mm. Like maybe during that a quiet time, you just ship it in. And that is the best time to talk to a woman. You are looking at the topic under discussion. I was trying to look at the angle I'm going to fall into, maybe. To accept or to disagree because people taste changes over time. Societal influence might cause it for people's uh, to be either be satisfied with one thing or not to be satisfied with it. We've seen couples that are married, they married early at the age of maybe the man is 20, the woman is 18, and they live that like that he hold age. There are a lot of things that they have, they have been through. Try to amend their behavior, you know, uh, so that well, they can be able to train up their children and achieve their goals together. So, to round up, I want to say, say that your dissatisfaction with your spouse doesn't really mean you want to change her or you want to go outside, but yes, it just shows that not. at a particular uh -huh. point in time, your needs or what you want might not be met. Not necessarily mean you saying that you're not satisfied is an avenue for it. It's okay, you're going now, but it just shows that at a particular point in time, you might not be getting all that you would want to. But let's just remember that the same way applied to a woman, do you meet up what she wants? I, I, I made that point like earlier that spouses you marry that sometimes that you feel that your spouse does not give you all that you want but you let things go so it doesn't say that because you're trying to add all perfect circumstances and specify everything 
my wife is or my husband is. Single ladies attempted by married men's money. If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. Um, it's not wrong to be tempted. So if you say that single ladies are being tempted by married men money, yeah, we are being tempted, but it doesn't mean we need to eat. So it's not a problem at all. For me. It's a problem. The reason why it's a problem is that when you are collecting the money, what are you going to do? You didn't say them? collecting, say we are tempted. Then when you are tempted something, then, then the person has to That's why I say we don't, it's not, it's, you must not eat. You're only tempted. You you, money, you, there is not, uh, most ladies are eating. Most. Most of them are eating. Okay. About 90% are eating. And you're the one giving them the and money. You, I will, <laughs> yes, I'm giving them now because I'm expecting something in huh? I'm just um, particular about the question that says, are single ladies being tempted by married men money? Whatever the man brings to the table. Mm. Now, it is possible, it is a temptation. You give me gift, you give me money, it's not left for me to say no or yes. So now, on that particular note, we are being tempted but we do not, okay, they do, like, or some don't yield. Um, yeah, ladies can be tempted to marry men money, but like we said, it's just a temptation. And they also have the right to either yield to that temptation or opt out. So it is a decision for them to make, it's not by force. So it's possible they can be tempted, but they also have the right to yield or not to yield. So it's not a must. You, you splash them, you do whatever you want to do. It's a problem. In fact, some women call it you, oh, God, not sin. But this thing I will call it, I didn't force you. You bring it yes. to me, I take it. So it, is not, it doesn't mean that when they are tempted, they yield. So it's not, I don't see any issue with it. It's a temptation and I was not used to temptation. But you can agree with me that most of them yield. No, of course, no, of course, most of, of course. Them, so. Most of them don't yield though. Most, Most of them yield they, they 90 percent. So, so if they yield, no problem. There is a choice. Like we've been saying since everything I say here is a choice. If you decide to do it, it's your cup of tea and you drink it. Would you disagree us? Please step forward. Me personally, knowing that you're a married man, um, and I cannot get gifts for me because I know that I can never be a second wife of any man. <laughs> it's my decision. So if you like, half the old world. It's your own business. Like me personally, cannot be a second wife of a man just because of what is rich. But let you collecting keep, the money does not mean you want to be a second his wife money. now. Let him keep his money to himself. If you look at 99% of them coming to tell you in Taiji with gifts, money, did you know what they are doing to their wives at home? Do you know what the woman is going through? Do you know that 99% of them, their woman is always begging them, please let me just pay these children's school fees. Please, there's no food in the house. Did I know what I'm getting myself into? I have always stated it and it's always clear that I can never marry a rich man. Uh. I would rather marry a man that will start life together and I am very okay with it. Yes, to me, I cannot marry a red meat man. Because I want to be part of the man's life. I want to be part of his plan so that tomorrow he will not say, it's my house. Eh? For where? It's our house. Because we work together for it. You said, ah, you can never marry I can you. never marry a rich man. That's why if he's a single. I have a friend. If he's a single. I cannot. So okay, what is... I have a friend. Let eh? me ask you. She married a rich man. Okay. After the marriage, uh -huh. eh, she mistakenly dropped a glass plate before our friends you know what the man and the mother said the man was like were you here when i was making the money no. what's the meaning of this and is that too much to say uh, are you kidding me uh, okay you see, you say, i am <laughs> single <laughs> what if when you now marry a man like you guys grow together and i the long that road, one. wait you now changing co you will not change. I was giving the assurance. What's giving the assurance? I will not think he will change because no, you can't. Really. No, no, no. He, there's change is there's a no. Change. Do you get? I can decide to just change. So well, I prefer to start up with a man than a red mage. Well, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, uh, opinion right, and decision. Right, right. Like she was saying, Seems she cannot collect it from rich men. Eh? And the truth is, yeah. uh, whoever that is bringing things to you should be able to define the relationship. We are giving me these gifts on, on what ground, oh, what is the foundation of these gifts? So that tomorrow I'll not start looking for a loan to pay back what <laughs> <laughs> that, so there should be what a define a definition of every relationship so that we don't end up paying for what we do not buy it. Men are allowed to be with more than one woman. If you agree with these prompts, please step forward.
in our society, clearly in Africa, a man are allowed to be or to marry more than one wife. Even in the Islamic state, again, it's part of their faith that as a man, if you have the capacity, the financial capacity, and the uh, and whatever it takes, again now, to maintain four wives, you can. Again, and even in Christianity, it's still debatable. There are some school of thought that believe that okay, men you can marry more than one wife, because in the Old Testament, men marry more than one wife. Why some school of thought believe that no, it is not allowed. Even in our society, when you see a man having two wives, people do not frown at it, provided he has the money. Okay, men are allowed to stay with more than one wife. Because, you know what, <laughs> you guys are just saying that. Uh, when I was overhearing one of uh, 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 my, my, my colleagues, I was telling me that uh, if my wife is uh, maybe give birth through cesarean session or whatever, that uh, she's is going to wait for six months or one year. Then when you have two wives, you can be able to, uh, at least the subject cannot give birth at the same time. Well, the reason why men need more than one wife is that so many of us, I mean men, our sex urge is far more than that of the women. And some women cannot meet up with this. Can you imagine you coming to your wife, telling your wife that, oh, I have babes, let's go. I'm, at, least, at least I'm feeling like having sex or something like that. And then she was telling that, oh, I'm tired, though. I've been working since. So. Uh, these children in the school today, when I went, but maybe she's teaching, they have been giving me headache. I, I cannot even sit down. From, I, I'm just going from one class to the other. Then is that one an excuse? So the man should rather get another wife to satisfy that very sexual urge. If you have the money, if you have the capacity, if you have the ability to do that. I've not seen any crime there. The, even the men with two wives or more than that, they are being respected in the society because they know how to handle things. I'm telling you the main fact. They handle things because they respect them. They respect them. You can see most of those, uh, what's it called, the, the, the traditional rulers, as you said. If they what, if they give it, if, if they give, if they want to get married, they get married to as many as possible. Really, will you see a traditional ruler get married to one or two? They will get married to as many as possible. And when they call someone with one wife, will come there to come and sort what, come and sort issue, isn't it? So I have not seen anything there. The only thing that I see there that you cannot make a man to get married to two wives is that if you don't have the financial power. To do that. Would you disagree us? Please step forward. I feel a responsible man, even if you like half the old money in this world, if you want to stick to one woman, you will still stick to a woman. You can be with one woman. Because you already know before marriage, you know that this woman will make you happy, right? So why move in? What will you gain from it? If it's by your peer groups, like, oh, this person had 10 wives because I have the money. I want to have 100 wives. You're doing yourself. What kind of mentality is that one that uh, uh, traditional rulers has more than one wife? So, therefore, I will have more than one wife. Are you kidding me? Is it a traditional ruler that will come and rule your home? Do you know what that particular person is going through with the thousands of wives in his house? No, you feel so. One woman, one problem. <laughs> You're carrying hundred problems. He's going to save and you stress. think stress. money will be the one to save it? Maintaining hundreds of wives. The money if, is man, there. if I'm not talking about money, okay. like mentally, emotionally, if this one will bring problems today, you face that one. That one will bring problems problem. tomorrow. Uh, lots of problems. Problem, okay, um, let's say the two wives are fighting. Now you we, want to settle. You want to do this one. You want to do if that. If I hear the two sides, if I hear the two sides of the story, if they told them like that, a lot of sisters want to leave. Even your mental health self is going to be. Ah, you, I really yeah. disagree that you see. know. Yeah. So, so if you're sending out packing back to her father's house, uh, why marry her in the first place? Why marry her in the first place? Can I just what? Do what? Why do you marry them I'll in the first place? To them, since they are not very, so, they go set, it's so the best thing is to send them packing. Are you are you sure that when they come back they will not break your head one? No. no. Okay. Okay. They will not come back. Can, <laughs> I, can I ask you a question? <laughs> okay. okay, those who are married more than one, are you saying they are not responsible? Yes, they are not they're responsible. Not responsible. So are you saying so the traditional rulers are not responsible? They are not responsible. Why are you just referring to traditional rulers? A cheating man 
and the man that has second wife. They are both cheating. See, they are all cheating. <laughs> <cheating. laughs> For instance, mm. eh, someone stole 20 naira, mm -hmm. and that person mm. 1,000 naira. Mm. Are you going to say, eh, because this one picked 1,000 naira, mm. eh, this one is a thief, mm. this one is not a thief. Mm. The two of them are what? They are a thief! Them, there is no big thing, there is no small thief. What you are using in comparison, it does not matter. Why it is Hello, let me tell me why it is cheating. Hello, let me That is where I am going to. If you like, the fact is you started with one wife. Mm -hmm. If you start going out with another woman, you are cheating on the first but wife. Let me tell you this. Do you know that there are some people that they started with two wives? How is it possible? Two people are doing the same time. Yes. They get married with the same man. Yes. The same man. man. So what? Are, of course. The, the last is there last life? Last month, culture. Did you know? Just go through your culture. culture. Well, at least you shall meet one before you meet one. You don't meet anybody. They meet together. It's not possible. I will, I, I will not agree that it's not possible. How do you say they met together? They met, is it not the same that they are doing the wedding? They are doing the wedding. The, 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 but they met the one before one. Official, don't go lie. We're after. We are after the official. I see brothers poisoning themselves, sisters poisoning themselves. That's just. I don't think having a polygamous own is the best. The day the father is no more, uh, that is when we know that you just invite a big problem and it's going so to be a snap. Something, something was given to you. Even, even in, the, in, the, in the, the monogamous the family, family there is still problem. Baby. So the oh. problem, problem is what? <laughs> problem is a general thing. So that means you're okay. saying, if you say that they can point in the same and die, that means you're not being intentional about your family. You just want to have fun. I'm not more now. You're not being intentional. You're not being intentional. You're not being intentional. Somebody was saying, does it mean that they're not being responsible? Yes, a man that marries more than one wife is mm. not being responsible. You ask me. Mm. So, like I said, so you're not being marriage. intentional about your family mm. because what is the what is the reason for going after another wife? Yeah, like we said earlier, for me, it's just it is whatever we say here. You still have to decide what you want okay. because, but even though it is wrong. Mm. You still have to, we cannot force you. Okay, yes. We can only state what is right. Well, do you know, do you know that? Do you know that there are some people whereby they get married to one wife. Their wife they see shaky, only one. Mm -hmm. Then you see people that get married to four, five, mm -hmm. and their wife they are, they are enjoying. Well, how many of them? How many like of them? Like you said, it's a decision. Enjoying. If you want to marry, I'm going to see shaky. Give her shaky. You see, eh, as far as I'm concerned. When you say the truth, most of people that will just be let me just say when they they, they listen to us, you will see that they will say that oh, this person, what the person says is, is, is right. Because some of these are people, they will be. Someone said, so I said something before. He said that uh, uh, you cannot get married to someone that has wife. That maybe the wife is seen shaggy. I beg now, nah, come and pay school fees now. Nah. I beg, they, they, my children never chop. But you want to marry another wife. That kind of person. You may not be only one wife you get. But you don't show and shaggy. I will not show and shaggy. It might be true, but not, but not relevant. <laughs> Might be true. What evidence it, are you looking for? But it's not relevant, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Because yeah, I can marry one wife and then I make a city again. I can marry four. It might be the truth, but it's not relevant. Married men can take care of single ladies better than single guys. If you agree with these prompts, please step forward. Okay, I feel um married men are more mature and you know, financially stable. If you're looking at a young guy now. Still planning on his life, you know, he's yes. still thinking of oh, what's the way for blah blah blah, and all that. But then a married man is set to everything is already for the ones that have money, red made. everything is already set for him, so be able to take care of the girl. Just like I said earlier, married men would um be able to take care of single ladies better because they are more um mature and most of them have been they like they've found their foot, or how would I put that word? So You'll be able to know how to take care of the ladies better rather than young boys that are still getting to know what they want and you know explore and everything so yeah that's why married men can take care of single ladies better as far as i'm concerned married men do take good care of lady than the single guys yes because they have the experience one they have everything that it takes to take care of the ladies i've seen a young lady a young lady for that matter very young i think he's, she's 21 she said she cannot get married to a single guy that she's looking for married man that married man do take care of men yes I, I'm, I'm telling you. that married men do take care of women far more than that of the single guys because the single guy when you even misbehave like this before you know how far you're left oh, 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 see, oh, you know so they prefer married men and they are what they are really doing well some of them if they are, if they, if, if they, are, if, if they decided to do, would the disagreeers please step forward? 
I think people generally believe that single guys are not well to do or, or, or are not financially brilliant, and that is a lie. Um, if you check around you, the banks, where people work, mm. you see a lot of single men there. So the idea that every man that is not yet married is not married because he's yet to be stable is not true. So that should be out of the way, first of all, that not all single guys are broke. Then secondly, about the man being more capable of I'm taking care of a lady. For me, I would say with the responsibility at home, to your child, running the house and everything, where would you have the extra money to go around gallivanting, seeking for another person that's spending the money on when <laughs> what you get no, already me. isn't so great. Um, so to be very factual, unless you're talking about <laughs> sort of more advanced in age, but we are talking about all things being equal, a young man that has a young family, and you know as you grow up, your, your income stream increases and all. You're talking about an average man that has a family that takes care of. That takes care of. And I don't think a married man of that nature would have enough money to spare that is going to look for a young girl that has white taste. And how would you... you that's me, he's trying to say, with the money he receives, he's trying to let go of his responsibility with his wife yes. and his kid to take care of that person. And I think he might just do that for some time to get the young girl's attention, but, but it's not sustainable because in the long run, you have primary responsibilities to look after. So that is why I don't agree that a married man is the best person to take care of a single girl. My point is, the experience that a married man used As, yeah. to take care of his wife, yeah. I get that. You also apply it. You know, when you go for a job, I get they ask you for his. Uh, yes, how many years on the <laughs> Yeah, on the particular <laughs> uh, uh, job description. I get that. So, being married is, a, is an experience. Yes. A yes. married man knows how to take care of, know how to. As in, you know how to, how to give the girl some mm. flavor that will make him to, to feel secure. Like, so that's just my own. So which on the reason why married like man take care of girls and unmarried guys. Ninety percent of married men cannot control their urge to cheat. If you agree with this prompt, please step forward. The reason I agree with this is what I see around me. And they say expenses around you can form a fact. Yes, yes. So looking around, you see married men that you know are married, either having girlfriends or seeking out to have girlfriends. And with that observation, I say most married men are always on the lookout to cheat. So that's why I agree with this. Remember so as a married put, man, remember I, to put the urge. They have urge. You know, okay, the urge. Month, they will not cheat though. Like you said, people might be tempted. Apart from the fact that some people also engage yes. it. I'm thinking if a single guy be tempted to look out, a married man is still a man, just that he might have commitments that might make him not to go out. But the urge to have something to do with that person surely will be in the minds of many married men. Okay, um, like the question said, 90%, of course, they have the urge to cheat. Or to cheat, yes, but they should not do it. That you, you are fasting and then you have the urge to eat when it's not time to eat. You shouldn't eat. So if you have the urge to cheat, to go after other girls other than your wife, then you should be able to cope that urge. It's not a must to do it. You see, as far as I'm concerned, yes, sir. you will cheat. The I will man, not they said cheat the They said, you can hear the word, they said 90% of men cheat because I, of the urge. Yes. Now, if the urge is not there, there is different between. You see, there are some men whereby their libido is high. If you come across a, a man that the libido is high and the woman is just maybe like uh, maybe the her libido is low, the man will shit. But one oh one percent. Okay, so uh, uh, how do you measure a man that has a, a high libido? Because I've been here since morning, you've not cheated. So me. tell me now, so what would that make you? Since you have been here from morning to this evening, you've not cheated. So tell, tell me, what would what is it that would that make you cheat? Is that because your wife is now at home or she's busy or what is it that will make you uh, that now makes that urge? Because we know you have an urge. Yes. So like I said, mm -hmm. you have the urge, but you can curb it. Yes. Good. So why why wouldn't you but want to curb it? You, you curb it. It's not every time. Take note so, of that. So uh, it's not every time. How? Mm -hmm. Because you go out in the morning, you come mm -hmm. back in the evening, you meet your wife at home. So tell me when the when do you want to cheat? does not allow me to come out every every time. So I almost still have it every time. I I mean I come home once in a month. 
okay mm. but that's a decision because you are working you can yeah. also relocate your wife with you if you know you have that high libido you can relocate your wife with you i don't want to relocate that hey, 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 it's, 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 it's a decision everything so you are doing is based on your decision you okay you don't have money to live at the country. okay you said expenses will be too uh, much are you trying to tell us now that you don't send money why no, or you I, don't I, do the I, same I, expenses I send, no, this is the and you still have some girls all right that you still some chicks would you disagree us please step forward no, I disagree on that issue that ninety percent of married men cannot control their urge to cheat. Now, in every everything is uh, in this life is all about discipline. I get now. As a married man, you can control your urge. I get now. Number one way you control your urge is through communication with your wife. Okay, I am ready for soothing. I'm ready for sex. I get now. There is a way, even though you cannot say it orally, your body should be supposed to communicate with your wife. And from there, you'll be able to, to release the, whatever you want to release out of your body. What, to that what. When you go out there, I get now, you won't go and be looking at another person's wife or an unmarried lady. I get now. Sorry for cutting you. You see, uh, there are so many research that we do, that we do conduct on ourselves. I mean, we men. An instance was given in a hotel room. There is 10 rooms. Those 10 rooms, there are different girls. Did you know that in that 10 rooms, if you look at it, when they open this room for a man, starting from room one, he can go in with one of, with each one of them and satisfy the 10 of them. Okay, someone have said, talk about animal before they said that we are not an animal. If you look at the, what is it called? <laughs> if you look at fowl or chicken, we call it whatever. So you look at them. When they do this, before you know how far, the next one will be their target. So the same thing is applicable to man. You see, uh, the sex urge of a man is that when you do this, the next one, when you get there, you are what? You will have that same urge again to go ahead and do that. Which that is not is a problem. Man. The only thing is saying that you can, you can discipline yourself. Self-control is the only measure you yeah, can We pray for that. God should help us on that. Yeah, it will help uh, you. Amen. Mm. Mm. But let me put in this. Now, one of the ways, it's just like uh, we Africans, let me just put it this way. I guess we don't really like to tell ourselves the, the truth. truth. Because, because of the uprising of the issue of feminism and the rest. One of the ways that is laid down for a man to control his sexual urge is to have another woman. Yes. But some of you still can't say cheating that, okay, okay well, uh, oh, it's yeah, cheating she now. She said it's cheating you, that, okay, okay, both of you, there is difference between cheating in an African setting, even in this, uh, the Arab world, and being polygamous. I said you don't feel like being uh, antagonistic to that particular belief. You know that, okay, your wife is not satisfying you. Instead of you cheating and, and that day you say, I'm not gay, you take him. Like when you have another one, okay, when this one is not ready, you have to, okay, yes. let me switch my network <laughs> to <laughs> the second wife. So, that and another way in which I felt a man can control this urge. this urge is through keeping Same. the mind busy. I'm trying to find the yes, right yes. word for it. Being engaged. Being engaged. If you look at most of these men, number one, those that cheat mostly, mm -hmm. and the people that their job permit them to be not to be that fiscally engaged. I feel if a man really wants to control his sex urge, he can do that. Of course, if you are idle, you can't be busy from morning till evening and then your mind is occupied with sex because you are busy. So if you are engaged, if you are busy, I don't think you have that thought 70% in your mind. Even if you have, you should be thinking of your wife and not just... My final thought on this is that we should just try to, uh, to understand ourselves as far as I'm concerned. Because one thing that is certain is that we, the men, our sex urge is far higher than that of women. I see so many married women whereby they will just find it very difficult when they have their sex urge to come and tell their husband that they are going to go to Jerusalem. Instead of that, they, start, they just started getting unnecessary angry. Yes, my wife will say it. You said I should not put the place here. Who owns the house? Whereas she's angry because I have decided not to talk to you. I'm going to go. You know what? <laughs> you guys are not. You know, that is the main fault. I have decided to just keep to myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But instead of her to come, oh, well, you owe me now, let's do something. But no, you just decided to say, no, if you did not come and ask for it, I will not give you uh, unless you ask for it. So we just have to know that men are sex urge is higher than that of women.
So, and we can control that if our wives understand us. God help us. Mm-hmm.